Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to reduce your CPU cycles by debloating windows and removing unnecessary things. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this. I also want to hear from you guys in my Discord server in the polls channel. I have a little poll for you guys that will tell me whether you guys like me to post on Monday 5pm East or Saturday 1pm East. So make sure to vote so I can cater to you guys. But yeah, so the tools we'll be using to reduce our CPU cycles is auto runs and power run. To get these, you can join my Discord server link in the description below. Then go to Programs, and then Auto Runs right here. This is a tool made by Windows that allows us to change a bunch of startup things like services, drivers, and tasks. To get this, you can just click Download right here. And then in this folder, you only really need to extract the Auto Runs.exe. You can leave everything else. And Power Run will also be in the Programs channel right here if you scroll up. But once you have them, you want to go over to power run right here and then drag auto runs.exe on top of power run.exe now that you've done this by default if you go into the options tab on the top right here hide windows entries might be checked you want to make sure you uncheck that and then you're going to go on to log on now in here you just want to uncheck things that you think would be useless on your PC startup that would just take up cycles for example security health we don't need any of this and you also want to be careful too that you don't disable anything that will mess with your game like I know for Valorant you need some Riot Vanguard stuff running in the background like a driver and then also like a service as well so you want to make sure you keep those checked and you don't mess with those but in here you can uncheck a few things like security health Google Chrome Microsoft Edge and make sure you don't go like too crazy on this before you start breaking things but this is just it for the logon tab next you want to go over to schedule tasks like I said don't go too crazy on things before you start breaking things I'll tell you some like save things you can uncheck like Google update tasks you could just disable that if you use Google Chrome application experience and application data that's just telemetry you can uncheck all of these Bluetooth you can uncheck if you don't use Bluetooth. Certificate services don't uncheck any of these. It's a pain to fix if you get any issues. Data integrity scans and custom experience improvement program. That's just telemetry. You can uncheck that as well. Diagnosis. You don't need Windows to be running a diagnosis on your PC every now and then. You can disable that. Feedback. Windows doesn't really need your feedback. Just disable it. What else? Mouse sync data, these are just Windows syncing. You could disable all of these as well. And scan for updates, this is just Windows update. Anything with install service all the way up to input right here, you could disable. Under here, you could also disable Windows maintenance. It's under one SAT right here, you could disable that. As well as autopilot, you could disable these as well. Maps, you want to make sure both of these are disabled. Offline files, you could disable this as well. Printing, if you do use a printer, keep it on, but if you don't, you could disable that. Setting sync, these are just Windows settings syncing, you could disable that. Software protection, you do need this if you use Windows licensing. Like if you have a Windows license, you would keep it on. It just basically verifies your license every now and then. You don't want to get issues with that, so just keep it on. Time synchronization, you could keep these on, they don't really make that much of a difference, but if you want to really, you could just disable it. Update orchestrator, this is just Windows update, you want to disable all of these as well. Windows Defender, you could disable that as well, you don't want Windows Defender on your PC anyway. Windows Update right here too, you could disable that. Windows Error Reporting, you don't want this running in the background too, you could disable that. Windows Update Schedule Start, you could disable that. SIH, that's also Windows Update, you could disable that as well. Device Sync, you could disable these. Xbox, Game Save, it doesn't really matter. Microsoft Edge Update, you could disable these. MSI Afterburner, if you do have a GPU overclock, you want to keep this enabled because this is how it actually sets your overclock through Task Scheduler. 
so don't even disable task scheduler as a whole if you do have a GPU overclock but if you do then yeah you want to make sure that this is checked if you don't you can just uncheck it and Nvidia or AMD if you have the software it might have auto updates you could disable these as well but yeah that's it for task scheduler next you could go over to services I'm not gonna go too crazy or in depth on this because if you disable the wrong thing you could get a lot of issues I'll tell you some basic ones you could disable but try not to go crazy into this unless you're experienced or you could reinstall windows really easily but you can disable app readiness and app free client such as virtualization and useless services game bvr you could disable these as well bluetooth if you don't use bluetooth you could disable these capture service this sometimes breaks windows shift s for snipping tool so if you want to disable it you can but just keep that in mind what else diag track you could disable these as well Dialog blocking service disable, diagnostic sub disable, diag SVC you could disable that. Do SVC, this is just delivery optimization, you could disable that. Like I said, if you have any games that do require services to be ran, make sure you keep them running so you don't get any issues with them. Edge update, you could disable these. Google Chrome elevation service, if you do use Google Chrome, disable that. Intel, you could disable these services as well. JHI service, you could disable that. Maps Broker, you could disable as well. Mixed Reality, you could disable. Microsoft Edge, you could disable. One thing, you could disable these as well. Periodic Maintenance, you could disable these. Print Workflow, if you do use a printer, keep them on. If you don't, you could disable them. Razor services, you don't need these running unless you use the software for some reason, but that's just unnecessary bloat, so I keep them disabled. RAS Auto and RAS Man, that's just remote access, you could just disable that. Remote Registry and Retail Demo, you could disable these as well. Smart Card, you don't really use smart cards nowadays, so you could disable these. Security Health Service, disable this. Sense, this is just Windows Defender, disable that. Sensor, data service, sensor service, and sensor monitoring to disable. Remote desktop, you can disable this too. Shared reality, you could disable. Steam client, you don't need this running in the background. Spooler, if you don't use a printer, you could disable this too. What else? VGC, this is a Valorant service that needs to be enabled for you to run the game, so keep that in mind too. VMIC, all these VM ones you could disable as well, that's just Hyper-V. Volume Shadow Copy, make sure this is on. Windows Update Medic, ser medic Service, you can disable that. Windows Fan, you can disable as well. And all these Xbox services, if you don't use them, then just disable. Now for the Drivers tab, I really recommend you don't touch any of these because even I'm scared to touch any of these because you can break things really easily as just like services, but even worse. What I really recommend you do if you do want to mess with this is just read the description right here. Like Bluetooth, you can disable all of these. Doesn't really matter. But make sure you don't just like click the wrong thing too. You don't want to have any of these driver issues at all. Because fixing it, you would have to load a hive, and sometimes that's a bit complicated to do. But it, yeah, you could disable some of these as well, like Foul Crypt. And a few other drivers as well. GPU Energy Driver. That's like a power saving GPU thing. You want to disable that. HV Crash, you could disable that as too. These virtual machine drivers as well you could get like rid of those floppy disk you could disable that too and there's a couple other ones you could do just read these if you like really wanna mess with this a lot I don't really recommend it cause you could get into issues really easily so I'm not gonna go too in depth on this but there are some things you could disable that aren't so dangerous just make sure you read the description so you know what you're doing that's it for today's video. Make sure you save all your settings by restarting your PC so that everything gets set. If you really like this video, you could like and subscribe. Also, make sure to join my Discord server and stay updated with the things that are going on. But yeah, see you in the next one.